Hello and welcome, we're here with RA Games and Sharp Paper. I'm here with Carl, the lead designer. Hello, good afternoon. So, Carl, uh, what can you tell us about the game? So, Pacer is an anti-gravity combat racer for up to 10 players with a focus on skill-based play and expressing yourself through the style of craft that you build, how it looks and how it flies, even the weapons that you use can all be customised to be your way of playing. Alright, so it's very customisable. So, gameplay-wise, how, how heavy-handed would you say sorry, the customisation is? Like, like, is it more a visual thing, or is it actually a very much every bit of your gameplay will be inspired? Uh, so, the customization is woven into everything we do. So, in the gameplay, in the garage, you can customize how your craft flies. So, yeah, each craft has five slots. In each slot, you can equip a card that will give you some bonus that you want and some penalty you need to manage. So, it becomes quite a strategic play. And this it can affect how your craft flies, so how it accelerates, what its top speed is, how it turns, how it breaks, even how it hovers in anti gravity. It can all be customized. The visuals can be customized, so the skin of the craft, you can equip spoilers, scouts, scoops, the trail can be changed. Uh, if you go onto any one of our 14 tracks, they all have what are called variants. So you have night mode, reverse mode, mirrored mode, they can all be mixed and matched. So customization is into everything that we do. Right. So tell me about the art style. What we can choose is this for I mean I gather with anti grab you had to go futuristic. <laughs> yes. We had to go futuristic. well, we wanted to go futuristic. So we set the game in 2075 in kind of a not so like too distant future, so somewhat related. We wanted something that was realistic, but was also uh, like kind of gritty. We didn't want a hyper sterile sci-fi look for everything, because we thought that would throw you out of the experience. So it's something a bit more gritty, a bit more real, a bit dirtier. Yeah. And we think that helps immerse you in the game, so it won't feeling more real because of it. And it suits our style of gameplay as well. So it's very skill based and. All of that just works together really well for us. So, uh, is there a story the actual game itself, like a narrative, or is this more just to get straight into racing? Uh, so, I mean, I think it's at 2075. Yeah, so it is set in 2075. Uh, we have 10 racing teams in uh, in Pacer, and they will feature in the single player campaign mode. So, players will go through different racing teams. We present it with different challenges and different ways to play. Each of these racing teams has suppliers, so technology suppliers, performance suppliers, weapon suppliers, and they make their appearances in the garage in what you can unlock for that is their branding. And they will have their branding in the tracks as well. So it's not like an overarching like narrative of progression. But, but it you can is feel it's simple. Yeah, there is there is a story behind everything that is there. There is a context to the sport in the game. There is a context to the racing teams, the suppliers. So everything has a purpose. There is a life beyond the track. Yeah. All right. And so, tell us uh, about the different multiplayer modes available. Because I had a bit of a play on this already, so I've got some <laughs> ideas here. I hope you enjoyed your time. Oh, yeah, it was very good. So. We are looking to, as I say, there are ten, up to 10 player multiplayer and you can play against the CPU if you wish. If you have fewer than 10 players, you can fill out the rest of the slots with AI as well. Uh, our AI is being trained at the moment, it's machine learned, so it is very intelligent, very capable. Uh, in multiplayer modes, there will be all the modes that you've come to expect from a racing game, and all the modes you want. So, there is your classic race, there is a speed lap mode, where the you know, fastest lap wins, however long you play for. Uh, there is a time trial, which is an infinite lap mode of just you and your best ghost. So, you can try and learn the track and keep iterating to get the fastest time you can. Um, we have an elimination. So every 30 seconds or so, the last player will be eliminated out of the race. It's the last pilot standing. Uh, destruction mode. So you're running around and it's very combat focused. So it's all about trying to get as many destructions as you can. But we also have a couple more off the wall modes. So we have pass the bomb, for example. So a player at the start of the game is basically a bomb carrier. 
you need to ramble the ships to pass it off and then disappear so that it can't be passed back. Uh, we have Storm Mode, which we're really excited about. So it takes place in like an electrical storm, affects the, the track and the environment. And there's a sphere that, uh, that kind of protects you and shields you from the damage of it that will shrink and progress down the track. So you need to kind of stay in it for as long as possible and force everyone else out of it. So you've somehow mixed King of the Hill with racing. Yeah, we have. And um, uh, we're really excited to bring it to play. So, uh, what are you hoping to release on? Uh, uh, like so Sony PC, or are you hoping to get the uh, no, So, we are, our release window is Q2, Q3 2019. We are coming to PC through Steam initially. Uh, we'll be releasing on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at 60 FPS at launch. We will be enhanced to native 4K 60 FPS on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. And given that your release date is like set in stone now, is there anything that you wanted to put in but perhaps were slowed down by time constraints or such? Or do you feel you've got as much as you could in the uh, We got most of what we wanted in. Uh, most of what we wanted to put in that isn't in already, uh, things that we've tried with prototypes and maybe didn't quite work out, or it is content like new game modes, new tracks, new craft, new cosmetics, new gameplay uh, additions in the garage, that all can be done post-launch. So if there is a good scene for it, if it goes well, then we have plans for you know, post-launch content as well. Oh, and there's a lot of different places that we put this extra content. And final question then, what's been the feedback so far? Uh, the feedback so far has been really encouraging. Uh, a lot of players have sat down with it. Uh, because it is a skill-based game, it's not the immediate... It doesn't give you everything straight away. Yeah. It is something that you sit down, you play a race, you get better. You play yeah. another, you get better, and you keep doing that. And that kind of quick uh, feedback skill development has been like, really apparent. Loads of players have sat down, they've raced, and they're like, no, I want to try again. I want to get better. And they've done that. And they they just get it. They develop that intuitive understanding fairly quickly. Yeah. And they really enjoy playing. So like, we've had players come back for three, four, five more races whilst they're here, which is always encouraging. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been all positive. We've really enjoyed it. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, Sorry, I did say last question. Have you any early access plans or anything like that people uh, look forward to? There will be no early access plans. Uh, there will not be a beta launch that is planned. Uh, if you want to keep up with any more information about the games that comes out, uh, we are remaking and soon to launch our new website, pacergame.com. Uh, you can sign up to our mailing list there now. And that will be the place to find out everything about us. Things like trailers, any magazine interviews we do, that will be the place to find out. Alright, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Have a good day.